Welcome, my friends, friends of all prints, of Japanese prints, of contemporary prints, of modern prints, and especially friends of excellent art prints. Let me introduce, uh, my name is Dieter, Dieter von Schurer, and I'm the owner of a little family company. And we've sold uh, art prints, mainly Japanese prints, in online auctions weekly online auctions since 2001. And we produce these videos, of course, to promote the sales of our auction uh, prints. And in this video today, I want to present you, well, this wonderful woodblock print by Paul Binney. It shows the Yomeimon Gate at night in Japan, of course. And it's from, uh, a series titled Famous Views of Japan. When Paul Binney uh, returned from Japan in the late 1990s, uh, he had made a decision to start a series of Famous Views of Japan. And I think this is the number six from this series. Uh, Title of this series in Japanese, Bavarian style Japanese, of course, Neon Meisho Tsue. But by the way, Paul Binney is fluent in Japanese and, of course, in English too, because he was born in, in Scotland. And he always titles his prints both in Japanese and in English. It's, of course, all handmade, like all woodblock prints by Paul Binney. And, um, it was created as a limited edition of 100. That's the usual size um, when Paul Bin Binney uh, creates uh, a new woodblock print. And uh, it also has the preferred size uh, preferred by Paul Binney, which um, is called in Japanese, and collectors of Japanese prints know this expression, Dai Oban. That's a little bit larger than Oban, so roughly like that. Dai Oban, Tate E. And now, if you're a beginner, you learn something from me. Tate E is just a Japanese word for portrait format and uh, the Japanese word for landscape format, Yoko E. So, this is size Dai Oban, Tate E. Let's talk a little bit about the subject, Yomeimon Gate at Night. Well, this fantastic gate is part of the Toshogu Shrine Complex in Nikko. Today in Japan, a great tourist attraction, of course, and the complete complex is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And the site uh, is dedicated to Shogun Ieyasu Tokugawa, Ieyasu Tokugawa, who was he? Well, he lived from the 16th century until early 17th century, and he was the third of the so-called Japanese pacifiers and unifiers um, of Japan from the 16th century. He ended a period of more than 100 years of devastating civil wars in Japan, where local warlords, daimyons, uh, fought for supremacy in, in Japan. Historians call this the Sengoku period, and I looked it up in Wikipedia just one hour ago, and Wikipedia defines the Sengoku period from 1416 67 until 16 and 15. With Ieyasu Tokugawa begins the so-called Edo period. Usually um, you find the beginning of the Edo period at 16 and 3. However, the last military action, the last um, uh, war action took place in 16 and 15. In this period, this Edo period, it lasted until 1868. That means for nearly 250 years. And it was a time of peace. Um, 
Tokugawa Ieyasu had implemented uh, a number of strict rules that should assure that such a period of continuous civil wars should never happen. And it had actually worked for yeah, roughly 250 years. However, it came at a price. Uh, because one of these um, rules by Iyasu Tokugawa was the complete isolation of Japan. Um, no Japanese was allowed to leave Japan and no foreigner was allowed uh, to enter Japan. The only connection with the outer world was via a Dutch trading post in the harbor of Nagasaki. Um, the, a peninsula of um, Deshima, and there you must imagine um, well, one dozen or two dozen of Dutch people lived. They were also not allowed to, to enter the mainland, and two, three times per year a large ship arrived, and uh, the Dutch had this trading monopoly. And therefore, this has an effect until today. The small country of the Netherlands has a, a very, very large number of collectors of Asian art and it's also um, the location of the Japanese society for, of the Society for Japanese Arts. Well, um, back to this um, shrine. Well, this is just the, the entrance gate. This is a gate, yeah. Um, when I speak of the shrine, uh, it's a complete complex. Um, and this complex was built in 1617 by a retainer of Tokugawa Ieyasu uh, with the name of Takatora. And um, the Yomeimon Gate, it's outstanding. It's outstanding for its rich uh, decorations and for these painted carvings, well, this is a scene here at, at night, but when you look, I mean, it, it really it looks so richly decorated, you could imagine it. Well, in case you should have a little bit of a gap in your education and should never have heard about Paul Bini, which is nearly impossible, uh, a few words about him. It's not a shame, yeah, I mean, Okay, Paul Bini was uh, born in Scotland, yeah, he's Scottish, in 1967. And um, after his um, studies uh, of art at the university, I don't remember, uh, Edinburgh or whatever, he first went to Paris and then to Japan, because in Paris he had seen Japanese woodblock prints. And, um, he, he was immediately mesmerized and he wanted to learn how to make a Japanese woodblock print. And so he spent nearly six years in Japan. And when he came back, he was a master. Well, he was not only a fantastic artist who could design, he was only also capable of carving himself, of printing himself. And he does that all himself. So. Paul Bini print is an all handmade print by Paul Bini. And Bini is today the leading Moku Hanga printmaker. And now another word, Moku Hanga. Hanga um, is um, the word for print in Japanese, and Moku wood, so woodblock print, nothing else. But Moku Hanga today stands for a worldwide art movement of not only Japanese, but many, many um, Westerners in the USA, in the UK, um, in, in, in the rest of, uh, of, of Europe, all over the world, who practice um, the old traditional way of making a, a woodblock print. And Paul Bini is, yeah, I'm not sure if I can say the best, but he's uh, definitely, he's outstanding, uncontested, and he's the leading printmaker in Moku Hanga worldwide today. His prints are in such museums like Metropolitan Museum of Arts, British Museum, uh, also Museum of Modern Arts in New York, and 
recently, I think a few months ago, there was an exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, uh, 200 years of Japanese prints from old to contemporary, and about two dozens of Paul's prints uh, represented uh, the contemporary period. So, well, outstanding. Well, um, we've come to the end. This wonderful woodblock print is offered in the current auction, 1,706, and it will end uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is October 14th, 2021. This is just as a small reminder. And something else that you should know, um, currently um, in, in the coming auctions, you will see we are capable of offering you quite a few Paul Benny prints. And um, you should know they are consigned to us directly by the artist, directly by Paul, whom we know, whom we have known uh, for more than 20 years. Okay, but enough for today. Um, take care of yourself and have a good week. Thanks for watching.